Oh, I can't play right now. I can't huh? play. Okay. Say goodbye. And I'm here. Say goodbye. Come here. Say goodbye. <laughs> Bye, TV. Chelsea being sick today because she was talking about having a cold yesterday and so anyway we'll start <coughs> if I have whenever I fly home I'm, I'm always less enthusiastic to like film the cool like yeah. airplane shots and stuff because I'm and especially because I'm so exhausted this morning so um, if it's nothing eventful job. happens here at the airport <laughs> we'll just see you at home whenever I wake up from a nap <laughs> let's just be honest so Let's just see how uneventful my day can be in traveling back home after 24 hours. Yes. I'm starving. I didn't have breakfast at my sister's house. And I only had a soda on the plane. I should have gotten like a juice, but I was worried it would upset my stomach. And so I'm looking for something to eat. Maybe I'll have like yogurt and some granola. So anyway, I am gonna rest here for a bit and then I've got like three, ed three or four videos now to edit. I had two from before I even left. And so, then I have two days today and yesterday, but today's technically not done yet. So, I am going to, oh, where's the granola? I wonder if it's, sometimes Abby sits here on the couch and eats her granola and yogurt. Where did it go? Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I totally called it. Ha, <laughs> found it. So anyway, I got this cute note from the kids. Let me show you. Well, uh, actually Jason looks like he wrote it. Super cute. I know he misses me when I go. He doesn't mind if I go and support my sister and all that kind of stuff. He doesn't mind that. He understand, understands that that's important, but uh, he just misses me. So, and I, I think the kids do. They, Kaylee was texting me this morning and when are you coming home? And I'm like, dude, I'll be home when you get home from school, just like a normal day. You literally just didn't see me th for three hours last night. <laughs> it's like crazy that they, you know. Anyway, it's cute though. Okay, now mom life just, I mean, now it just begins. It's Friday, so I have a little bit more of a laid back, you know, mentality tonight, which is nice. Except that we have to get up. Sorry, I'm trying to take my shoes off. It's freezing here. Okay, actually I wonder how cool it is in my house. 64 in here. Some would say I should turn on the heat, but I'll just grab a blanket. <laughs> I'm a cheapskate. I saw someone turn up their heat yesterday, I think, to like online. I was watching someone online and they turned their heat up to like 75. I was like, dude, that's the weather I go <laughs> swimming in. I've lost all my light. Where's my light? 
there it is. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go relax here for a minute and then we'll pick back up either, oh my gosh, I need to just not turn around. We'll pick back up when either the kids are home, I've still got like four hours before the kids are home from school, or if I go out and run any errands, I don't think I need to, but if I get kind of stir crazy at the computer, sometimes I just get myself up and going out and I might take some fall pictures of the fall leaves and maybe go for a drive or something to stretch, get my mind on something different, but it's good to be home. It was a quick turnaround. I was exhausted last night. Had a hard time getting up with my alarm this morning and Aaron's dog, Doobie, was <laughs> snuggled up into me and I just felt so bad having to wake him up. And uh, he was sad to have me go and I couldn't play ball with him because my sister's roommate was still asleep. And so, um, anyway, quick turnaround trip, but we're gonna get ready to go to her wedding in a month, which will be super fun. So, I'll be back in just a little bit and see what the kids are up to. You guys, I passed out on the couch sitting up. I ate that yogurt and I watched like one YouTube video and then I got up and I found some Panda Express. So yes, in fact, Jason went out to eat last night or he picked something up on his way home. So I, I snuck that, I ate their leftover Panda Express and then um, passed out. Like my, my plate and my drink of water was sitting on the couch. I could have spilled it. Totally fell asleep sitting up. And um, I thought I was gonna like get woken up by the kids from school because that's how hard I was falling asleep. And I was worried I wasn't gonna make it to the bus and or unlock the door for the older girls. And I hate getting woken up um, from my naps when like someone's ringing the doorbell and needing me to get up. I like to wake up slowly and carefully. So anyway, um, my actually one of Chelsea's friends rang the doorbell and needed to borrow vinegar and I guess she was homesick for the day and so <laughs> it was only like two o'clock when I woke up. So I probably only slept from like 12 to two. So it was not that bad. Um, what is this? And so I woke up and I was like, well, I need to feel like I'm doing something today. So I was going through all my footage I had like four days worth of videos to go through and then I'm starting to edit my second video of four. And so anyway, I kind of feel a little bit more productive, but that nap was necessary. I was like, I'm blitzed. My girlfriends are all going to Cheesecake Factory tonight to celebrate someone's birthday. I can't remember which one it is. <laughs> Any excuse we moms get to go and like celebrate something, we'll like just take it. Six month anniversary, sure, let's go celebrate that. So, I'm trying to debate on whether I go and do that. I would have to redo like all my makeup, it's just really bad. But I also need to talk to Jason about it, that's weird. Hang on, one second. Sorry, that was my neighbors. <laughs> well, I'm standing behind a tree um, on my front porch, but they walked by and it's a little embarrassing. So, anyway, what was I saying? I can't walk away from my house because then you'll see my house number. And it's bus time, so I'm just gonna go down to the bus and get the kids. Anyway, so they're going out tonight, but I would have to like redo my face. I don't care about my hair. It's just in a ponytail, but it's still straight from having done it yesterday. But I kind of miss Jason, and I know he's tired, but if he's too tired to... Did you hear those text messages? Abby and her girlfriends, her friends, just sit and like text, you know, on their iPads and <laughs> flip phones. But like one person will ask a question, and then 10 of them will respond immediately. So it'll, it'll be like ping. Ping, 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 <laughs> in like 10 different responses so it's always kind of funny but my phone is hooked to the iPad so I know what they're talking about because she's not old enough to have a phone anyway so they're going out tonight but if Jason's too tired to like watch a movie together with or you know I don't even care if we go out and see Downton Abbey tonight and do something together but he's exhausted from working six days a week and he doesn't really feel like he rests on Sundays very much. I don't know why. I think he needs to just give himself a three hour nap and call it good. But, um, so I'm trying to de decide what I do tonight. And Kaylee is going to go to her high school football game tonight if it doesn't rain. And then hang out with her girlfriends either way. And then I don't know what Abby's going to do. So it's like kind of figuring out what we're going to do tonight. But let's go get the kids from the bus. Hey. 
Ashley. I don't know anything. Say it again. I know Monday's for the library. And I'm in first place. For the fun run? Fundraiser? Yeah. Good job, kiddo. Day one? Yeah. Let's see if you're in first place on the last day, huh? Wait. Wait. Okay, are you going to go play or you got to come home first? Come home first and then come back out. Get a sweatshirt or something. Where did you go? To school. No. <laughs> I went after off the bus. You just appeared. talking. You know your friend is sick, so I probably need, you probably need to stay away from her. She said she was... Didn't, she I, came over here to borrow something and she said she had a fever. Are you going to go out and play with the other girls? Yeah. Okay. What do you want me to do with the remote? Turn on the TV. Yeah, Chelsea, turn on the TV. That's your friend. She's calling. Who? Let's see. Hello, let me get Abby for you. Hang on. Okay. So, can you go take that to remote tells take it to Chelsea? No. <laughs> Come on, if you want the TV on, you'll go figure it out or you'll give it to Chelsea. I just got my feet all nuzzled up in a blanket, so. <laughs> <laughs> this girl, she wants to go get the mail so bad. I don't know why. Your teacher sent you something, or your reading teacher sent you something? Yeah. Okay, let's go out and check the mail, okay? She tried it, and she couldn't get the key to work, right? I tried every single one. I didn't know if it was three or whatever number it was. I didn't Four or five or ten? Yes. Couldn't remember which one, right? I never. Okay, let's go check it. Okay, sad news. You didn't get something from your teacher, right? Yeah, it's just boring. You just called junk mail, okay? mail. Yep, boring mail. All right, I've cleaned up. The kids have had dinner. They're down here watching Rescued Cats. Is that what you're watching? No, we're watching animals that, no, people who save wild animals as just animals oh. who get hurt. Animal rescue, yeah. basically. And I've cleaned up quite a bit. I redid my makeup after my many naps today. Well, just one nap. Um. Who's there? Someone's at the door? I'm going out with my girlfriends tonight. I've been debating on whether I was going to go out with them tonight or tomorrow night. I wanted to go see Downton Abbey with Jason and another friend, some other friends of ours tomorrow night. But they're busy and they really want us to wait for them to go see it, which is totally cool. And so I was feeling guilty about going out tonight, even though my friends kind of planned last minute a little get together or whatever but Jason said he's exhausted he wants to go for a run but then when he got home Kaylee called and said she doesn't want to go to the high school football game because no one's there because it's about to rain <laughs> so he's gone to get her now and so I think by the time he gets home and has something to eat he's just gonna be too tired to go and so go running I mean I'm trying to find his shoes You'd think that having a shoe store um, would help you know what shoes to wear. It's like this transition from summer to fall. I don't know how to transition out of like sandals <laughs> to like regular shoes. And then I'll, usually all winter long I end up wearing boots, like leather boots. So anyway. Um, I so I kind of feel bad, but he's just tired, Jason is, so I, he wouldn't be spending time with me necessarily. He'd be trying to relax and unwind and whatnot, so I, I just felt like I wanted to go hang out with these friends. One of them, like I said, it's her birthday. The other one, her brother just nearly died last week, like legit in a coma in the hospital and until she got down there and then he was alive, and so she's back in town after going to see him and kind of I want to hear just her stories and just make sure she knows that we're thinking of her and her family and so I went ahead and ate dinner already I know that seems stupid but I'm trying to save money so I'm just gonna get a drink and like a side maybe like a side salad or a side dish of some kind we're going to Cheesecake Factory this is like really good light right here <laughs> like a really crappy background as the stairs but anyway so it's more the company I want more of the company and the friends and going to hang out and stuff and so I'm gonna go and do that I don't think Jason's gonna pick up the camera I think he's too tired the kids need to go to bed 
Abby's at her friend's house having pizza and movie. And Kaylee just probably wants to come home and go to bed. So that might be it for us tonight. Kind of an uneventful day after I came home from such a fun day yesterday, but that's just life and I like to keep it real. I'm not gonna like make some exorbitant like activity for the kids when we're all tired and you know, not wanting to do anything. So anyway, take care and we'll see you next time.